We got episode 2 of season 5 of Lost Girl. It's called Like Hell Part 2. And um, I'm upset because the show's leaving. But that's not going to change anytime soon. So you know what? Let's do it. And then Bo gets stuck through a portal and ends up in an elevator. And I'm upset. What's going to happen next? Kinsey's stuck in a coffin. That's nightmare stuff. Don't keep lighting matches. You're going to burn up all the oxygen. They didn't bother to ask Kinsey why she was in a wedding dress. They're like, we didn't bury you in that. So I think that's the ground floor of the elevator. It looks to be basement level. The place looks gloomy. Maybe because you never taught me how. Aw, daddy issues. She just woke up in the labyrinth. Way to focus. Every doctor should have liquor on hand. You probably should know what those beakers use to contain before you drink out of them. More vodka. Whenever I see a ghost, I just drink. I don't like this Stacy chick. She's like very muffy. Yeah, definitely the kind of chick I'd swing at. I'd throw a punch at her right quick. Who's there? The Goblin King. You're in the labyrinth. That's who's there. I'm trying to mess with my head. Well, yeah. That's alarming. You just got bitch snapped. What? She's very hillbilly, Goblin. You what? kick a chick in the crotch, you win. Who are you? I don't know if I can trust you. Kinsey, did you get your hair lightened in Valhalla? This just seems stupid. It's like, I shouldn't give you this, but hold on to it for me. And that was that board thing from the, the mini web series. You wanna help? Ask what that entails first. Five minutes into the underworld and you're already Frenching someone. Okay, Bo, you're already healed. Now you're just on vacation. Bo, seriously, you already healed. Let's just be honest. There are pressing issues at hand. Oh, thank God, an actual instance of a succubus. A la Ghostbusters. So how exactly is Bo um, smushing it with another chick making Lauren get all fun time? It's Bo. For sure. I was just, um... Assaulted. Know, Ward still said Kinsey from the web episode when Hill asked it a question and it said Kinsey? I am Persephone. You just bone Persephone. And I am your stepmother. Wait, what now? You boned your stepmother. It's gonna make some weird family counseling. Your daddy's Hades, deal with it. You get angry, you look just like him. Rude. Bo, you just don't listen very well. She just wants to snatch hearts. I knew you were gonna sell out Vex. Everyone is just so game to smush at any given moment. Didn't he know that? You don't leave your phone sitting on tables. I've been wanting to school that one since Valkyrie High. Now I wanna watch a show called Valkyrie High. Yeah, overthrow the Lord of the Underworld. Let me know how that goes. Don't walk into a cage. That's one of the dumber things people can do. She probably should have told her which button to push. There's a lot of options. You're just going to be sitting in that elevator by yourself. Or, you know, you can push the glowing button, I suppose. It's a very fast elevator. Bo, you're wandering in darkness. It's not going to end well. You're darkness, and I'm not walking into it. You, you literally are walking into darkness. I am not going to jeopardize the people who truly love me back home just to meet you. You kind of are. How did she not walk into a wall yet? What I am gonna do is take everything you have. Starting with this candle. Oh, he came to get you. Aww. Oh. So when did Kinsey become Willow? Things are getting dark. He probably should get moving. Okay, what now? There was a shard in her pocket of an urn? What'd I miss? So the, the hell she was like absorbed into her feet. Can she take them off now? Way to go. Can you quit burning tricks things? Uh oh. Someone kill that woman! She gonna kill you! That was that was it? You just got her so mad she left? No fight? Aw, oh, bromance. It's um personal. I mean she ain't gonna tell you, Rube. So you burnt the Ouija board once the spirit became trapped. This seems like a bad idea. What the heck? What the heck? Kinsey Ghost Hunter. What? Well, I can't. Kinsey's leaving, I know it. I can't handle this. Not okay. This is dumb. So stupid. Stupid and out of character and dumb. And I have that luggage. I'm mad. I'm not even feeling sad, I'm just mad. It's stupid. What am I watching here? Okay. I had this fear going into this season that I think is actually going to be realized now. I have 
was so afraid that this was going to be another one of the shows that I absolutely loved, but for some reason or another, the ending of the show is going to taint it for me. It's going to be in my mind as a memory of a show that was so good, but ended horribly. And... I, you know, I don't know a whole lot. Things I have heard and read um, was that Ksenia Solo wanted out of the show. Not for lack of love for it, but just because she's been doing it for so long. From what I've gleaned from all of that, what I've put together is that is why the show ended this season. And this season's going to have 16 episodes, and Ksenia is going to be in less than half of them. It, it seems awfully out of character for Kinsey to just... Uh, go through everything with them, especially just go through that, and then be like, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna leave now. I'm done with everything now. I did. It's dumb. It's cool that we found out in this episode that Bo's father is essentially just Hades. That's kind of cool. Uh, it, he needed to be some big, ultimate big bad, so I guess that was actually a pretty, pretty cool revelation. The whole thing with the Valkyries, I'm over. It doesn't hold any interest for me anymore. For a long time, we tried to figure out what was going on with Tamsin, and we actually, you know, figured that out. Now, it's it's really not up to her anymore. She's already kind of made her peace with letting everyone know that in the Valkyrie world that she's just not going to do it. And she'll be on the outs with them. Okay. As much as I love this show, I have a feeling I'm really, really not going to like the ending. And unless they do something awesome and blow my mind and change that opinion... I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna actually happen. You know, and it sucks, it's real life. This is this is work, and this is jobs, and this is someone who wanted out of a show they've done for, you know, over half a decade. I can get that. At the same time, as an actor, I'm like, no, if you have work, you ride that. <laughs> I get that it has been a big part of her life, and so uh, Cassini is already moving on to new two new shows, and she's directing things, and it's cool, and you know, that there, we should always grow as artists. It just feels really crappy, and it feels like it kind of was a last-minute thing because they announced that they had a season five. They weren't even finished filming that they announced it was the last one, and it felt weird. It seemed like the the announcement of a season five should have been the announcement of we're going to get one more. It felt weird that they kind of, like, delayed announcing that it was going to be the end, which also makes me think it was just that a lot of the actors wanted out. Uh, Casey, who played Hell... He ended up, he's doing movies now, you know. They're all doing other projects, and I understand why they'd want to be released from contractual obligations. It still sucks. You could have a lot of people leave the show, but Bo and Kinsey are the ones that cannot leave the show and have the show still be there. I hate it, and I'm so upset, and I really, like I said, I hope they totally flip it and make it awesome, an awesome send-off for a great show. Anyway, we'll see, we'll see what comes. Uh, we'll see, I want to see what happens with the episodes that Kinsey's not there. I don't know, but they really need to fix this Kinsey storyline because it feels really stupid that she would just up and leave. It did, that's out of character. That's my rant. I need to process. Until next week, 